Okay, I'm going to show you some of my mink cage setups. Um, for a couple of reasons, I want to show you how I have them ready for them to have babies. And I want to show you my old cage. To you guys, it's new because you didn't see it before. But this is my original mink cage that I had when I was a teenager. You were a teenager? Yes, Nothing I was a teenager. Shiny. This is little uh, Grady. Say hi, Grady. He's a little monkey, is she? Look at the little monkey on his shirt. He's a little monkey. Grady, do you want to be a mink trainer? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you told me the other day, huh? Uh-huh. And there's his big brother, Xander. Say hi, Xander. Hi. Okay, anyway, back to the mink. So this is my original mink cage that I made, that I, I fixed up, I shouldn't say I made, back when I was a teenager. And we have, um, um, <laughs> Grady, we're trying to see the cage. Um, we have uh, Cade's Mink uh, Ruby in there. And this door, as you can see, is different from the rest of the cage. I just fixed that, that this weekend. Monchu? Do you think that's Monchu? You're silly. You know who it is. Who it's do you... Roxy. Yeah, it kind of looks like her, huh? It's Missy. It's not Missy. It's Roxy. Ruby. Ruby? Yeah, that's Cade's Mink. You don't know her, do you? No. Yeah, it's Ruby, Cade's Mink. So, uh, this cage has a solid top, and then you'll notice with all the cages, you see I've got, uh, I've got shelter in here. This, the main purpose of this is to protect from the sun. Mink get hot very easily, very, very easily. What's like comfortable to us is too hot for them, and um, they will die very easily from heat. So you see... All the cages have it set up. I like to have it so they can get out in the sun if they want to. But they've got at least half the cage is shaded, protected from the weather. Mainly from the sun, but also, you know, so they don't get wet or, you know, ultra cold in, in bad weather. Uh, the other times of year. So you see this, this cage has a solid roof and then a shade portion. So the sun that comes in the morning doesn't shine on them. A lot of people don't think about that. They think, oh, well, you know, we got shade up top. Well, in the morning and the evening, the sun shines sideways, and they will, if the mink can't get out of the sun, they will cook and die. You'll have a dead mink by morning, well, by evening. Um, I've got this funny um, sign. Anyway, that's just to create some extra shade because um, the babies are extra, extra vulnerable to the heat. Um, if it's too warm, the mom won't stay in with them in the nest and they will get uh, dehydrated and die because they're not drinking enough milk and it's hot and the combination of the two will kill them really easily so you, they need to be able to be kept cool especially when they're really little or they'll die um, so I've got this for extra shade I don't normally have this up uh, this is just here uh, for while the babies are small this is the box now this box has been on here since I had it originally but I changed the back so that I can open it up to check out the babies. Originally it wasn't like that. It was just solid and you couldn't check it from the outside but I changed it so that I could. Now I don't ever use sawdust. However, this is a special aspen sawdust that makes a little nest as you can kind of see there's a little dip in here. Um, this is so the mink can uh, have their make a little nest for their babies. Uh, I usually use clothing for their bedding like you'll see in here with with uh, Missy. Uh, see, I've got well, that's a kind of a crappy bed. It's I need more than that. Oh, not Missy. I mean the uh, Monchus in here. But um, if it's cold weather, I'll give them a lot better bedding than just that. I'll put in a towel or a big sweatshirt or something they can snuggle up in. Um, and uh, they need that in the summer to to dry off on, but in the winter more to keep them warm. Um, but for the mamas having babies, I don't want the babies to get caught under the cloth and maybe get suffocated So I've got the same bedding that they use in the mink farm to help prevent that from happening So I've got as you see she's got a little indentation in here Where she'll be having her babies and uh, there's her little entrance and uh, Any mink cage that you have it has to be very It has to lock very securely because mink will jiggle latches open they'll figure out how to open up 
and it has to be solid. Mink will chew up on the wood. I'll show you here. Ruby might come out and see us here. Hey, Ruby. See, uh, mink love tubes, so I give them. I like to give them little tubes to play in. And there's the view from her, of her box from this side. Hey, how are you, Ruby girl? Um, they need a little water pan, big enough for them to to get in and soak. So their body needs to be able to get totally in the water and submerge. Um, it helps them cool off in the summer. They love it. It's just kind of fun for them. And um, they always need access to water to drink. But in my opinion, they should always have access to water that they can soak in too. They can get their whole body in. And they won't do it as much in the winter as they will in the summer. But but I always leave them with water to get they, they can get into. Um, the wire cages with the wire bottoms is very convenient so the poop will fall through. However, it's not too great on their feet. Uh, the mink farms, they leave them like that, but if the mink run around very much, it'll sore up their feet. So I like to have a portion with, that's solid, the soft floor on their feet, and a portion that's wire so the poop will fall through. See, look, right here. See, there's some wood exposed right by where the door is, and I don't know why the idiot who made this cage, I didn't make it, I just kind of fixed it up put wood by the door but see she's chewing on that I'm gonna have to take a piece of wire and wrap this or she'll just chew and scratch and chew till she gets all the way through and ruin that that board but you see the door that I fixed here it's w wire all the way around so that she can't scratch at the wood so there she is and see that gives her a nice shade that that sunshade I set up. So that's Ruby in her cage. Oh, another thing. If the Baba Mink's having babies, you need to have the wire covered up. See this wire right here? If the baby crawls out or if she brings it over here and puts it down, it'll fall through the wire and you'll lose the baby. By the time you find it, it'll probably be dead. So I've got all the wood around her box solid so the babies, she can put the babies out if she wants to or they can crawl out and they're fine. Um, I'm going to be making the rest of this, the bottom solid in the next couple days um, so that when she does have babies, there's the chance of them falling out pretty small because I'll have to go through the sides rather than the bottom. So this, this door, see it locks like that, but I have a second lock that I, I like to put in so the mink don't figure out some way to jiggle it open. See that way it doesn't open, it's a double lock. Good idea if you time you have mink. Here's the rock squirrel all curled up in your box. What a pretty girl. You all curled up in your box? Are you gonna bite me? Are you gonna be nice? Huh? She's been a little protective of her box because I think it's because she's pregnant. I don't know. Are you gonna be a nice girl? Thanks for being a nice girl and not biting me. So you see, she's got the aspen bedding. See, she's got a little hole she can go in and out of. And um, I'll see if I can move her out. So I could show you the the um, little little um, scoop she's got in there. Hmm? Are you going to show us or no? You don't want to come out? Okay, you don't have to come out if you don't want to. No, you don't have to come out if you want to. I was going to show you. She's got her little nest shape going on. But she doesn't want to come out and I'm not going to make her. Oh, big yawns. Oh, big yawns. Oh, thank you for being such a nice girl. I hope you stay nice when you have babies and don't get too mean. I do. I hope you stay nice. Oh, are you going to move? Okay, she was going to move. You see, it's got kind of a, a little nest shape little bowl. Hey, see, I'm not, I'm nice, huh? Anyway, and then I put the lid on it so she's got extra shelter and it feels nice and dark and comfortable to her. See, so she feels safe in there with her babies. And you see, I put these boards up so if she pulls her babies out or if they climb out, they don't go through the wire as easily. Um, they've got like a little shelter to protect them and um, it also I'm sure helps her feel more secure and, and safe in there so yeah that's how I've got the the cages set up and then here's my other cage 
I've showed it to you guys before. It's that long one. You see, I've got a roof on it, so it protects them from the from the weather for the sun more than anything. See, they got a little water pan, and then a tube that goes all the way up to that box that I showed you where Monchu was. in his box. Well, there he was. He won't shoot. Did we scare you? And I got this here for protecting from the sun. And then, of course, you guys all know my uh, underground pool enclosure. I've got Missy in there today. And she's got, you see, I've got, these boards are put up they end up being a dual purpose. The main reason is to, so the mink don't climb up the corners. But it also creates a little bit of shade. I've got this in the middle to give them some more shade. And in there is her little box where she sleeps. Missy Mink. Oh, she's not in there. Missy. Unless she's curled up and under there. Let's see where she's at. So she's got a couple little high zeke spots, makes them feel secure, and also it keeps them, uh, they can get out of the sun if it, the sun's shining real hot. See, and here's our swimming pool. I put it on the top so they could climb up these pallets to get to it. And they love playing in these pallets. I don't see her. Where's Missy Mink? Oh, you know, last time, um, Ruby was in here. She dug a little den. Missy! I don't have any meat or I'd call her. Uh, yeah, I think she's up in there in that den that Ruby dug. I'll bet you that's where she is actually. Missy! Missy! Yeah, she's up in there, so I gotta block that up. I forgot about that den. Anyway, um, so I guess I don't have to block it up with Missy. I don't. She's not gonna have babies, so. Important things to think about when setting up a mink enclosure. Number one, keep them out of the sun. If they get hot, they're gonna die. Um, keep them lots of water they can swim in. Get fresh, you know, so they could drink it as well. And I uh, give them a nice warm nest box with some nice warm bedding. Like I said, I prefer clothing if they're not going to have babies. I use like a, uh, like a sweatshirt or a little blanket or a towel. They can curl up in. That's a lot nicer for them in the winter. Um, and it's better for them because they, they get wet. I only use this sawdust when they're having babies. Because um, like I said, I'm worried that a baby will fall under, will crawl underneath the blanket or the towel and get suffocated. So that's why I'm not using it with the, the mink that are having babies. But normal for mink that aren't having babies, I like to use a little blanket or a towel or a sweatshirt or something. So it's uh, a lot easier because you could dry it. You could wash it and dry it. And, and uh, when they're swimming a lot, they'll get that sawdust all mucky and wet. You have to change it all the time. So anyway, so... That's my mink. Those are my mink setups, and uh, I hope it was helpful for you guys to see it. Thanks. Bye.